Hi everyone and welcome along to today's video. This one concerns all of you who may have recently got a new all singing all dancing <laughs> high efficiency gas boiler. Yeah and I know in a few years time they're going to be knocked on the edge, we all know that, but in the meantime let's use them because they're the cheapest way of heating your home still compared with electric. Now saying that with the recent prices gas electric going up and up and up quite a few people have took the plunge and gone for something like a Bosch Green Star 4000 really high high efficiency boiler 90% A rated and a top quality boiler because Bosch are up there with some of the best aren't they and to that end I want to tell you a little story that's come from me from Steve who's bought one of these boilers and had it installed and has found some amazing results as I'll tell you now so Steve tells me previously he had an old Baxi boiler a big one and that would purr around and basically you could put it on on the main boiler stack just stick it on and literally 60 degrees and his radiators would be hot within 10 minutes now he had 10 radiators on the system and that was it the boiler would then cycle through the day every 10 or 15 minutes on off on off as it should do house was plenty warm enough lovely all good but the increases in gas prices recently has spurred him on the boiler was 20 years old and thinking well, it was an old class e inefficient boiler and it's time to let's uh, save some gas and get a new high economy boiler as i say the bosch one that i've just mentioned so he's had the bosch boiler fitted and our Steve has taken plenty of gas meter readings and he likes to keep on top of it and has found unfortunately that he is now using more gas than he used on his old boiler and to that end he's also finding that when he first turns the boiler on like he did with his old one that it takes an hour of running flat out on that boiler to get the heating up to where his old boiler was only on for about 10 minutes 15 at the most and then recycling uh, his boiler is staying on a lot longer and what's more his rads aren't quite even as hot and because he's using a lot more gas his boiler's gone right up he's now reduced his temperature from 20 that he used to like 2021 20, on his room thermostat down to 18 because he can't afford the gas it's running away uh, at least at 18 it's it's going on and off so this brings the question here what's what's happening there are a number of things that can go wrong one thing the old boilers a lot of them they run at really high flow and return temperatures typically 82 on the flow out round the rads and back at 71 72 on the return these are high temperatures that bomb round very quickly uh, and obviously it means your heating gets hot really fast for the condensing boiler which is what you got now to actually save you money it needs to condense which means the boiler return must be 55 or below to get any savings so here we go with the problem if you start to turn that boiler up so it's not condensing anymore then you're not saving a lot at all now there's lots of problems that go into this with the boiler because you could fit a boiler and not worry about cleaning out the old system first which may have a load of rubbish in it sometimes it's best to power flush an old system out before fitting a new boiler also if you can't do that at least clean it out with system cleaner run the old system for a while and then drain it all out then fit the new boiler and obviously put a fresh inhibitor in but the main one that is left and just not fall about sometimes too often is that the system will need a rebalancing okay this is a very important thing to do when a new boiler goes in because you've got to reset those radiators because before on that temperature flow and return very high probably there wasn't any balancing needed to be done because uh, it would pump around there at those temperatures and every rad would get a fair bit of heat whereas now you've got to have this lower temperature so therefore it won't be quite as hot going as those radiators no 
but you will get it balanced finely to each one rather than probably Peter, Robin, Paul and so on. So the system balancing suddenly becomes a very important thing. Add to that, some boilers have been fitted to things like microbore systems now. <laughs> you know, this is where you start to think, shall I just start again and get a new boiler, repipe it and change all the radiators as well. This makes it a very expensive job, doesn't it? But you see, microbore systems are not efficient at all and also they, they clog up badly with black sludge. And also you may have a one pipe system where one pipe runs around the house, one stab goes in one side of the radiator, the other stab goes up the other with a valve on it, and the pipe just passes underneath. And this one pipe goes right around the house back into the boiler. Very inefficient way of getting your heat to your house. And really that system should be changed for a two pipe as well. So we hit this funny hurdle, don't we? <laughs> How far do you want to go? Add to that you may have old radiators. Another thing that was done 20, 25 years ago on old systems, but everything was oversized. The radiators, we always tended, even I'm guilty of it, tended to put big rads in smaller rooms, oversized, simply because it gave you a little bit more leeway to pump it up a bit more. Because it didn't worry us then, because we had these high flow and return temperatures from the boiler. It would whip round and eat that lot up, no problem. And you could then turn your radiator down. All thermostatic valves and all the rads anyway, so you could set them all and have plenty to spare. But this would cost you money. But if you just moved to the house and or you lived there a long time, you'd be quite used to that gas bill being what it is and going up as it does every year. Until finally, obviously, now we find the prices are doubling and we've got to try and save money. So now you think mm, maybe a gas boiler is a good idea. There's no end of firms that will want to fit them for you. You have no problem there. <laughs> but this is the, the one I'm, I'm on about. Is that really this system balancing is very critical to get the performance from your new boiler. Now I have got a video there. I'll put the video title down on the leeway. It should be above my head now. If you want to look at it, it's a video about rebalancing radiators, and this is using a thermostatic clamps that clamp on the flow and return to give you the proper reading the temperature should be on every single radiator flow and return and you've got to get this across all the radiators now this is something it's a cheap item to get it's just a time consuming job but if you follow that video through you know have the correct instructions for setting that up and obviously the main one we've got to try and achieve all the time is the return temperature must be 55 or below when it returns to your boiler so it's a funny old one this you kind of think you're going to get all these gains and if you've still got old stuff old pipes that could be clogged up never cleaned uh, you've got a one pipe or system on micro bore or really old radiators that are very inefficient uh, you're not going to get the gain you thought you were going to get. Weather compensation is also another cheap thing to have added to your system and this obviously monitors the weather outside and adjusts the flow temperature to suit. So some days when it's cold but not that cold you find that it will set the flow temperature quite low which means the return will be well below the 55 for the boiler to condense. So another little worthwhile thing that's not too much money, not in comparison with what you just pay for your boiler. I'm sure you've all got your thoughts on this one. And if any of you have had boilers fitted and have found you're paying more, or if many of you are finding you find a lot less, be pleased to hear from you. Put down your comments underneath here. I'd like to know how you're getting on with your new boiler if you've had one fitted in the last year or so. Okay, that's all though. Just what I'd let you know about that little comment I threw. <laughs> You think you're going to get something and you don't get it after all. <laughs> to summarise then, I'm not saying not to get yourself a new boiler. Okay, they will still be better than your old one and they will be more efficient if you can get those temperatures set on that return. But if you've got old radiators, more than 20 years old, inefficient ones, if you've got a microbore eating system, if you've got a one pipe system that really needs to be two pipe, these are all going to hinder you.
quite sufficiently. Now this means really that you've kind of opened a can of worms if you just get a boiler because really to get the maximum from it you will need to change all your radiators to very efficient new ones and also that pipe work especially if you've got a microbore system. So you've got to add all this lot together and you could be well up in the thousands then I'm afraid to do all that lot and that means will you get your money returned in the savings on gas? Well you know I don't think you would we say you save a couple of hundred pound on your gas bill a year it's not a lot over 10 years and let's face it in 10 years the gas could well be turned off that's the end of our gas boilers the way things are going you've got to look ahead haven't you so that's just something to bear in mind before you take the plunge and get your new a rated boiler just something to think about get someone around an engineer who knows what they're talking about to have a look right over your system before you take the plunge okay if you're thinking about it i'm not saying don't get one okay but just be aware of all the other problems associated with a new boiler okay well that's about it though it was just something that was highlighted me you know by one of my subscribers out there that uh, he just couldn't believe that his new boiler was actually costing more to run than his old one does take some believing but not when you analyze it and think about the way that they actually work okay then that's about it from me all my stuff you know to go the usual place Derek and 33 thanks for watching guys bye bye